If you're someone who works in cloud security or are about to start a journey in cloud security, you probably would have heard of Cloud Security Posture Manager or CSPMs. What you may not know, there have been four generations of CSPM and that's what this video is about. My name is Ashish and I'm the host of the podcast called Cloud Security Podcast and a CISO myself. I talk about cloud security all week and in this video, I wanted to talk about the four generations of Cloud Security Posture Managers from where they started to where we are today in 2022. I'm going to stop saying Cloud Security Posture Manager like 10 times. I'm just going to say CSPM. So just assume CSPM is Cloud Security Posture Manager. All right, first generation of Cloud Security Posture Manager. Ah, the first generation of CSPM focused primarily on compliance in cloud. This is around the time when a lot of people were still a bit hesitant to get into cloud. They were still talking about things like, is cloud really secure? And a lot of focus is given to costing and resources in cloud. Security was not really top of mind, but something that clicked with a lot of cybersecurity folks at that point was compliance in cloud is something that they were looking at. But you also notice that CSPMs primarily were owned by security teams or specifically security operations teams as a way to respond to incidents when someone goes into non-compliance, your S3 bucket is open to the internet or your EC2 instance in AWS was open to the internet. Yes, that was the time when there was primarily only AWS. There was no Azure, Google Cloud or any of the other providers. Another model that came out of this whole CSPM in the first generation was the agent-based model where a lot of CSPMs around that space were primarily focusing on using an agent-based approach, which is having an agent on the server itself because primarily at that point, the resources that were used were AWS EC2, which is a server in Amazon Web Services for people who do not know. And the best way to be secure is looking at it from the inside. So we have a lot of malware detection that was going on in the agent-based model, as well as the IPS, IDS, as well as sometimes CSPM, like a cloud security posture manager. In the second generation of CSPM, we continue to have built on compliance. Now, not just SOC 2, ISO, or HIPAA, or industry-specific standards, we also started seeing a lot of the CIS benchmark came through. By then, Azure and Google are Cloud has made the announcements as well, and people are still storming into the Amazon Web Services of the world. So we have a split between agent model as well as agentless model. Agentless model was where there was, well, let's just say people started using open source as a way to say, hey, actually I can use a CLI or an API to make the same call. An agentless model appeared where it was all about having an IAM role in your AWS account, and that would allow your CSPM tool to have access to the API and be able to scan your resources within your AWS account. So you can have one dashboard to look at what your posture manager was for that account. Another thing that got really popular around this time was the scalability challenge. Now, as more people started getting into the Amazon Web Services and other cloud providers, it became obvious that the scale was getting a problem. Now, it's good enough for you to see compliance or non-compliance in this context in a small account or a small set of resources. But when that resource number is in hundreds, 200s, resourcing and proper tagging and hygiene became a challenge where security teams were not able to identify which resource belonged to what business unit or which team should they reach out to if they have a problem. In a way, this defined the second generation where there was this tussle between who's the real owner. Is it security or is it the development team or is it a body in between that should be on its own. Now, Around the second generation, another wave started appearing. Netflix came up with the CMAIN Army, which was another open source tool that they released in public for others to utilize and not have to pay exuberant CSPM prices. Another one I recommend is from Tony De La Fuente. He has a GitHub repository where he has listed all the popular cloud security tools, including his own called the Prowler. Now, around this time, we're also talking about responsibility splitting across, but we were looking at a split between agent as well as agentless model as well. So a lot's happening. Azure is coming in, Google Cloud is announcing it. So it's almost like you start to see the beginnings of what cloud security could be like. That brings me to the third generation. Now, third generation as learning from second generation where we had problems with hygiene, problems with finding out what resources belong to what business unit. Another solution that the CSPMs came up with was auto remediation. For people who don't know that, what that really means is if there was non-compliance, the suggestion from CSPMs was if you give us enough permission, we would automatically stop that. Now, this is probably also the time where and a lot of S3 breaches are coming in and people are getting worried about how their S3 bucket was open on the internet and they should be keeping a close eye on it. What that really meant at that point is people started adopting auto remediation. And guess what? Security folks became the bad people again because we started doing auto remediation and uh, well, I guess let's just say some of us started doing auto remediation, not all of us. I'm not saying I'm against it, but there's a way to approach it. Going in with a machete to cut a tomato is probably not the best solution, let's just say that. So it was a very delicate 
situation. So that brings me to the current generation because we've been talking about first, second, third, where we kind of have developed a few patterns now. We have a preference for agentless models now where we want to be able to use the APIs of your cloud service provider and not have any company use agent-based model because having agent-based model means you have to work with different teams, you have to install it on servers, but now we are working with serverless containers. There's so many more types of compute. So having an agent-based model doesn't really make sense. Then you also had responsibility being shared between security as well as cloud security teams, as well as any other business unit that might be there. Now, auto remediation was also a great exercise if you can work with your development team around it. So that's a great exercise so that any last minute changes because, hey, it would only take me two minutes to make this change in production, they get blocked by it. So that was a great exercise. But the fourth generation is completely different from the first three. I mean, and I am super excited about this. I'm super excited to see a lot more companies come in and disrupt this fourth generation of a CSPM in the year 2022, and I guess maybe fifth generation after this. But for the moment, fourth generation, what they are about is they are agentless and they prefer doing cloud security portion management using context rather than compliance standards. What that means is I understand your item number 1234 is not compliant to ISO 27001 or SOC 2, but what you have is you have a IAM role or an identity which has a lot of permission and potentially is on an EC2 instance or a server, which means if it's facing the internet, which in this case it may be, there is a direct kill chain or attack path from all the way outside attacker to your public facing server, which is your EC2. And if they take over that machine, they are able to use the privilege, which is the extra permission, admin permission possibly, you, you've given on to the EC2 instance onto to the rest of the account structure that you may have. So that kind of approach of having context on solving cloud security posture rather than just, I guess, going with cloud security compliance is probably a better way to approach. And I love this way because what that means is I am focusing on the right challenges at the right time instead of trying to look at all the compliance standards. Because my assumption is if you're doing security right, I would be surprised surprise if you're not being compliant. Let's just say this. So that was one feature. The other feature is before in first, second, third generation, the whole vulnerability scanning used to be a separate tool. You would go to one of the vulnerability scanning providers. And again, they would have an agent based model. Surprise, surprise, which is a total no, no in a cloud context. I'll repeat that again. But if it's a no, no in the cloud context, but they were still following that approach and no one was disrupting that market. But now there are people like the modern fourth generation cloud security posture managers who are challenging this. They are doing this by copying the snapshot of the root volume, which allows them to have a look at the libraries and give you a CVE score of any missing patches you may have. Now, what does that mean for fourth generation? Fourth generation means it's agentless. It uses API. So I can swap between one CSPM to another the CSPM in a matter of, I don't know, less than a day if I have my automation done correctly. Second one being, I have a context for what I should have my team prioritize when they're trying to work on cloud security challenges in AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. Third one being, if you have your vulnerability scanning covered as well, you don't need additional tools to go vulnerability scanning. You can find some kind of integration with an existing cloud security posture manager and be able to utilize that as a way to do vulnerability scanning as well and have an overall picture of your cloud security posture manager, not just of the external accounts or subscriptions you may have, but also of some of the resources that you have inside it, which was a problem in the second as well as first as well as third generation. But I'm super excited about this. If you feel I have missed something about any of generation or if, they, if you feel there is a fifth generation that I wasn't aware of, I would love to hear from you. But otherwise, if you like videos like this, we talk about cloud security every weekend on the cloud security podcast channel and feel free to follow me over here or on LinkedIn or YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Peace.